students today we are going to discuss about lattice networks lattice network is a two port network it is a four terminal two port network and lattice structure can be read drawn like a bridge network basically these lattice networks are used in filter sessions and it can be used as attenuators a basic structure of the lattice network is shown here and here you can see that the different resistances are z a z b z c and z d these are the impedances and here z a and c z a and z d z d are called series arms and z b and z c z b and z c are called diagonal arms see if in this lattice structure if z d equal to zero then this will become like a pi section network or pi network we have gone through the pi network um, in the case uh, when we discussed about the t networks so whenever in the case of a lattice network whenever z d equal to zero then it will be like a pi section network so here this same network we can see that v1 is the input port voltage that is at 1 1 dash uh, and v2 is the voltage across 2 2 dash so this network can be redrawn like a bridge structure like this see 1 1 dash is shown here 2 2 dash is here so the different arm impedances are drawn like this okay so this is the v1 voltage this is v2 voltage and we will be making the analysis of this lattice network by using this bridges network so we want to find out the impedance parameter for this lattice network you know that impedance parameter is obtained from the equations v1 and v2 in terms of i1 and i2 let us see so to find the set parameter equation we are using the equation v1 equal to z11 i1 z12 i2 v2 equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 here z11 is equal to how will you get z11 in order to find z11 you are putting i2 will be equal to 0 what happens to i2 equal to 0 then this term becomes 0 so z11 equal to v1 by i1 similarly when i2 equal to 0 you can also find z21 z21 equal to v2 by i1 so that two parameters are we are going to find out first so what will happen to the circuit when i2 equal to 0 let us go to the previous session whenever i2 equal to 0 so this is the current through this network whenever i2 equal to 0 this portion will not be there see this will be the structure so we want to find out what quantity z11 equal to v1 by i1 so we want to find out v1 first and we can find out z11 so in order to find v1 whenever i2 equal to 0 v1 is the voltage across this points at 1 and 1 dash point so between 1 1 dash the impedances are z a and z b okay that is the impedances so v1 is the voltage we can find it out by using the equation v1 is equal to we know that what is v1 v1 will be equal to here i1 is total current total current is given so whenever we know the total impedance of the circuit then we can find v1 you can see here that v1 is the voltage across this terminals so that can be find out by using the equation ohms law that is v1 equal to current into total impedance what is the total impedance across 1 1 dash is here z a z b are in series z c and z d are in series so this sum will give an impedance of z a plus z b and this sum will give you the impedance of z c and z d so total impedance will be these two branches will be in parallel so z a plus z b in parallel with z c plus z d so you can write the total impedance is equal to z a plus z b into z d plus z c divided by total equal to z a plus z b plus z c plus z d so here we are utilizing if r1 and r2 are in parallel equivalent resistance will be r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 that is the equation that we are using here okay so to find v1 v1 is equal to total current into total impedance so total impedance is he given here okay so this is the way we are finding v1 so but what we need is the, in order to find z11 we want to find the ratio v1 by i1 so when we are finding the ratio we can find that i1 and i1 get cancelled so you will get z a plus z b and z d plus z c divided by z a plus z b plus z c plus z d so this is the equation so here we are taking the condition if this network is symmetric symmetric so in the case of a lattice network whenever the network is symmetric that, what is its meaning it will be mm, symmetric that means z a will be equal to here 
this is a symmetric arms z a will be equal to z d what is other symmetric arms z c and z d so z c will be equal to z d okay z a will be equal to z a will be equal to z d and z c will be equal to z b that is a condition for symmetric network in the case of lattice network so we can put that condition in this equation z11 so z11 will become z a plus z b by 2 see this is simple substitution you can find that it twice Mm, twice of z a plus z b comes to the denominator side so z a plus z b will cancel out and rest will be z11 equal to z a plus z b by 2 that is simple mathematical calculation you can substitute these values and find the value okay next what is the condition z21 is obtained by putting i2 equal to 0 how will you find out z21 z21 equal to v2 by i1 the same condition i2 will be equal to 0 so we want to find out v2 so what is the value of v2 c c you can see what is the value of V2. V2 is the voltage drop across two two dash terminals. So two two dash terminals means that in that case what what is the condition I2 will become zero. In that case what is the value of V2? V2 is the voltage across either the voltage across this ZA and plus ZB, ZC or the voltage across ZB and Z. Here we are taking the branch ZB and ZD. So V2 is the voltage drop across ZB and ZD. That means voltage drop across ZB plus voltage drop across ZD. Here when you are uh, looking at the sign conventions, I1 flows in this manner, right? So here plus minus comes, here also plus minus comes, and here plus minus comes, plus minus comes. So when we are finding V2, the voltage drop across uh, ZB is positive and voltage drop across ZD is negative. So in order to find V2, V2 will be equal to the voltage drop across ZB minus voltage drop across, uh, drop across ZD. So what is the voltage drop across the ZB? See, here I1 will be there. Voltage drop across ZB can be find out uh, by using the voltage divider rule. Voltage drop across ZB will be equal to V1 into... What is voltage drop across ZB? V1 into ZB divided by ZD plus ZB. Similarly, what is the voltage drop across ZD? ZD? Voltage drop across ZD will be equal to minus V1 into ZD divided by ZC plus ZD. That is the equation. That is written here. So you should know how to apply voltage divider rule and you should understand um, uh, the sign, uh, sign of the voltage drop. Then only you can solve this. Okay. So V2 will be equal to V1 into ZB by ZD plus ZB minus ZD by ZC plus ZD. So that is the voltage drop, uh, drop across, um, uh, that is the voltage drop V2. Okay. So that is the condition. Here V1 we have find out in the previous session that is what is V1. V1 is this one. So you can substitute this value of V1. So you will be getting V2 equal instead of V1. We are substituting this value from the previous equation. So here or here also next term is this one. Okay. So you can cross multiply the terms and you will be getting the equation like this and you can um, cancel the common terms. So you will be getting here you can see I1 can be taken LFZ. So V2 by I1 will be equal to this term. This is obtained by symbol the rearrangement and the cancellation of common terms okay so you finally you will be getting z b z c minus z a z d by z a plus z b plus z c plus z d so here z 2 1 will be equal to v 2 by one so that will be equal to this quantity okay so here also we can find the condition when this circuit is symmetric when symmetric means that is z a equal to z d and z c equal to z b so when you are putting that condition z 2 1 will become z b minus z a by 2 we have find out that Z11 equal to this quantity. Now we have Z21 is equal to this quantity when symmetry circuit is symmetric. Next, we are putting here, we need to find out what all quantities Z12 and Z22. For that, we are putting I1 equal to 0. So Z12 will become V1 by I2 whenever I1 equal to 0. Similarly, Z22 will become V2 by I2 whenever I1 equal to 0. That is the condition. So, when, what will happen to the circuit when I1 equal to 0? Circuit will look like this, okay? So, let, look at this first circuit. Whenever I1 equal to 0, this portion will not be here, there. But voltage drop across V1, we should mark. Uh, the uh, current will be flowing by this second port, that is I2. So, that will be marked here. You can see here. See, V2 is port voltage is shown here. And V1 is the point between 1, 1 dash. V1 is voltage across 1, 1 dash. And circuit is redrawn like this okay whenever uh, i1 equal to 0 the circuit will look like this okay so in that case in order to find z1 to v1 to find v1 by i2 what is v1 
v1 is the voltage drop across this point okay so to find the v1 you know that uh, this uh, it is the voltage drop across set c minus voltage drop across set d here we also we are applying the voltage divider rule to find the voltage drop across set c and the voltage drop across set d so first one is when we are applying voltage divider rule voltage drop across set c will become v2 into set c divided by set d a plus set c similarly voltage drop across set d equal to v2 into minus minus v2 will be coming because here the current flows in this manner right right similarly i2 will current flows like this so the symbols will be plus minus plus minus here also plus minus plus minus so when we are coming in this session this signal symbol will be plus minus minus plus that is why we are taking set c by set a plus set c minus set d by set b plus set c that is the Mm, logic how this negative sign comes in this equation okay so voltage drop across set d will become what is voltage drop across set d c here you know that at this point the total voltage is v2 across this point 2 2 dash v2 is the total voltage so voltage drop across any mm, any resistor between that terminals will be total voltage v2 into set d divided by set b plus set d there is a simple voltage divider rule application so here uh, Mm, we uh, we have obtained v1 so v2 will be equal to what is v2 mm, we have the equation for v2 what is v2 v2 will be equal to by simply applying the ohms law total current into total impedance what is the total impedance since it is a parallel path and here the impedances are series so the total impedance in this series arm is set a plus set c and here the total impedance is set b plus set d and these two are in parallel so we will be getting set a plus set c into set b plus set d divided by set a plus set c plus set b plus set d that is written here okay that is the total impedance so v2 will be equal to total current into total impedance so that will be equal to i2 into this quantity so uh, what we want to find is uh, we need to find v1 uh, by i2 okay that is the quantity so here we can we, instead of v2 we can substitute this quantity okay so we will be getting v1 will be equal to instead of that quantity we are substituting this quantity okay so this is the quantity in minus and here these terms will be rearranged by uh, simply cross multiplying uh, so we will be getting the terms like this okay so here we need to find v1 by i2 so v1 by i2 will become set c set b minus set a set d divided by set a plus set b plus set c plus set d so here also we are applying um, the symmetric condition that is whenever the network is symmetric then set a equal to set d set b equal to set c substitute that in this equation so we will be getting v1 by i2 equal to set b square minus set a square by 2 into set a plus set b and here uh, we can write it as a set a plus set b uh, into set b minus set a because a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b that is equation so set 1 2 b will become set b minus set a by 2 and uh, similarly we can find set 2 to what is set 2 to set 2 to is equal to v2 by i2 v2 we have already find out that is v2 is equal to this quantity so i2 will be cancelled out so set 2 2 will become set 2 to uh, set 2 2 will become this one mm, uh, so this is the way we are finding different set parameters in in this case and here we are taking the condition whenever the network is symmetric in the case of lattice network the condition is set a equal to set d and set b equal to set c so by substituting this symmetric condition we will be getting different set 1 1 and set 2 2 values and it is written as a set 1 1 equal to set 2 2 that is equal to this quantity that means whenever uh, the circuit is symmetric then set 1 1 will be equal to set 2 2 okay Similarly, here Z12 and Z21 are equal. What is its meaning? That means uh, this circuit is reciprocal also. So, this is a symmetric reciprocal network. Okay. Uh, and uh, by simply rearranging, we can find a ZB and Z uh, in terms of set parameters also. Um, that is a simple rearrangement of this equation. So, this is all about this lattice networks. Thank you.